Good morning, guys. I'm going on a ride today. Decided, you know, it's a long weekend, so might as well go to uh, Kohima, which is the capital of Nagaland, and it's in the proper Naga Hills. So should be a fun one. Catch you on the road. Moving out then, let's go. Praying to God, everything goes well. And out on the highway, guys. Look at that. Naga hills are getting closer and closer. And here we are, officially entering the hills now. That's the place where I did the modification video, right there. And we are crossing that place now. And moving ahead. Come on. Let's go. Check it out. I'm in Cookie the Long right now. Look at that. Wow. This is Nagaland right here. Food <laughs> for the future right here. There's gonna be a toll booth here. Check so it out. anyone looking for a toilet, it's uh this is a petrol pump, Indian oil petrol pump in Kuki Dalong. Uh, just the entrance of the Naga Hills. You can come and uh, you know use the washroom here. Look at that beaut. How beautiful is this? The highway and the view ahead. Look at that, wow. Looks amazing man, check it out. Such a picturesque place. They are making a road through here, it's not done yet. Every five minutes I want to turn on the camera and take a video man. I went to Sikkim to find this view. <laughs> I have it right here at home. Look at that. Damn. Heaven, right? Perfect weather today. And look at that. The higher you climb in these roads, the more you enter, you know, the interior parts of Nagaland. Which is the real beauty of the Northeast, right? Check this out, wow! We have Zuku Valley up there in Kohima, just a little bit uh, higher than Kohima, where you know I did a vlog the last time. Uh, you can check it up, I'll link it at the end of this video. You can check it out. It's always the journey that's more beautiful than the destination. I don't care about you know sitting in Kohima or anything, it's all about the road journey, that's all. Northeast is blessed, guys. Northeast is blessed. Wow. Hotels all throughout the way. It's such an amazing place to ride, man. It's a different point of view altogether coming up here by a bike compared to, you know, a four-wheeler. Oh, man. Every five minutes I need to turn this thing on. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. so much man I'm gonna do more vlogs on more interior parts of Nagaland in the future man because look it's such an amazing feeling on bike getting into these places and people have such wrong impressions about uh, the northeast you know that people are uh, different this and that come visit give give us a chance give these people a chance and you'll understand how amazing they are how welcoming they are. This right here, empty road, 
your love man empty road and that you ahead of me come and the air is so fresh and so refreshing man it's cold nice cold air in the summer heat check this out so apparently there is a vegetarian pure veg hotel right here you know nagaland is not known for vegetarian food but you know for people who are pure veg there is a restaurant right here for you guys so it's called midway that place midway restaurant we can try it out i just turned off the camera and check it out again uh, wow <laughs> Amazing man, amazing. I didn't know. see. I I've come to Kohima so many times, but then coming here by bike, it feels you admire the view a lot more. Not because I have a camera with me, but it's just that the view is so much more visible. You appreciate your uh, you appreciate nature a lot more when you're coming by. bike uh, the road's been a li little bit bad for the past half an hour or so uh some of the highway uh, is still under construction so yeah so the roads are a little bit bad but yeah we, we keep going we uh, finish with the bad route It reminded me of gurudang mar but yeah made it now heading uh we made it to zubza So good. Entering Kohima. There it is, Kohima, right there. Check it out. Town in the hills. Okay, so this is the Kohima Gate right here, made in proper Naga traditional style. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna take a U-turn from somewhere up there. Okay, so plan was to make it to Kohima today, and I did. Now it's time to head back. Next time I'll make a vlog about just the whole town and everything, but this time it's not gonna be like that. and uh, it looks like it might rain it's going much traffic the people entering okay let's get back home mother nature hasn't been kind today it's raining but we keep going i came prepared so should be fine uh, off roading and good roads and a perfect view everything now this is a trip and a half huh? <laughs> Damn. Okay, it's so difficult to predict which uh, places have bigger potholes because the rain is covering all the potholes, right? So it becomes hard to predict. But this is where your skills as a rider comes. You need to be careful in this kind of. Uh, while I was going, I showed you that restaurant, right? The non-veg and veg one. So yeah, decided to stop here for some time, have some food, and then we'll head back after that. I'm of course going to the non-veg section. Right over. Hey guys, uh, stopped in this mi Midway restaurant. It's called Midway restaurant, right? So there, there is a veg section on the other side. I'm in the non-veg section right here, and I'm gonna eat some amazing local food. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's exactly in the Midway, right here, uh, between Kohima and Dimapur. And the bad roads are over. Bad roads were over there. Now it's all good roads, starting from this point. So I thought, now let's relax a little bit. Do check it out. That's the veg section right there. Over on that side. Food is here. Check it out. Some sticky rice right here. Papad, vegetables, and check this out. Smoked pork right here. Sabzi, chicken, dal, and some more sabzi right there. That was a pretty amazing ride so far. Heading back home now. In about an hour or so, we'll I'll be there. 
just the empty highway I had. Okay. All right. See you on the road. Let's go home. Check out that horizon, guys. Wow. Amazing. <sighs> Adventures like this are worth it with all because of these views. I would call this a day well spent. Oh, finally, yay! I went through landslides, I went through rain and puddles and bad roads and amazing roads and amazing views. So many good and stuff, you know. But overall, once you're done with it, you feel awesome, you feel amazing because you finished it and it's another adventure in the bag today really happy with uh, you know the journey and i hope you guys enjoyed it also <laughs> i'll have to end it with this traffic unfortunately but you know i guess uh, it's sort of a good ending right so anyways thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one bye bye Check this out, the condition of my bag, condition of my pants, kitchen, kitchen everywhere, condition of my boots, cleaned up a little bit but still.